Welcome to Daddy Share Space. So today I'm going to be working on my uh, central pneumatic compressor. Um, as you can see, I have two of them. Uh, these both came from Harbor Freight. Uh, this one here is giving me some problems where basically the uh, pressure is just uh, releasing on its own. I'm gonna troubleshoot this one in a later video at some other time. But for right now, I'm gonna focus on this guy right here. So I've owned this for quite a while. And the issue that I was having with it is that uh, this item right here, the coupler, was actually, so the coupler here was actually leaking. And so as a result of that, I have uh, had to go to the store and find the parts to replace it. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I have the new coupler here. I also, when I took it apart, I misplaced this uh, hex bushing here. And it looks like this. So I was actually trying to repair this on another occasion and I was unable to do it simply because I misplaced this hex bushing. So I'm gonna turn the actual compressor around. Just like this. And right here is where I'm actually going to be placing the uh, this hex bushing and then I'm going to be screwing in the actual coupler. Then we'll fire this thing up and see if it's actually um, going to retain its uh, compressed air without leaking. So I'm hoping that, they, that it works. I'm actually going to be using this fast tape right here to actually wrap around to give me a seal. And I'm gonna hand tighten these first and then I'll come back with a wrench to tighten it fully. So a compressor, having a compressor in the shop is pretty handy. Um, I use it with my air nailers before I actually went battery powered. I still have my air nailers, but I, um, don't use them quite as much now that I've gone to the battery platform. Another uh, use that I have for my compressor is obviously using it to um, blow dust off of things around the shop. And then also I've used it with a few mechanic tools as well. Now, the main reason why I purchased this particular compressor was uh, a while back, I backed my truck into my other car and dented the hood a bit. Um, I wish I would have had footage of that so you could see the condition of the car when I actually smashed it up. Um, I didn't take it in, um, it's just got liability insurance, so I didn't take it in to get it repaired. It's a 1991 Saab. But what I did do was got in there, put some elbow grease to it, pulled as much of the dent out as I possibly could. And then once I got it all pulled out, I went and got some Bondo, covered it up, and I bought an inexpensive paint gun that went with this compressor. And that was when I bought the compressor and I used it to actually repaint the hood of the car. Um, the car, the hood of the car was actually chipping anyway. And so in the end, it looked okay, it's passable. It, it's not perfect. And actually that repair was done probably a few years ago. And now there's a little bit of a crack where the Bondo is actually uh, kind of cracked in, underneath the paint. But other than that, um, it had actually ended up looking better than it did before I actually hit it, simply because of the actual chipping of the paint. You know, the paint was just peeling after, you know, because the car was so old and I didn't properly maintain, you know, washing and waxing it as I should have. So anyway, so let's go ahead and put this um, in and let me go find uh, the proper wrench to tighten that up. Here I have an inexpensive kit from Harbor Freight and I bought this because typically I am always misplacing my wrenches and such 
and whenever I have to do a job like this, I will, um, not always, but a lot of times I'll just buy a new set so that I don't have to be looking for things. One of the things that I'm doing here with trying to get my shop organized is trying to basically alleviate myself or try to stop spending money where I don't have to. And that requires me to actually um, to create storage solutions and uh, things like that to actually make it easier to find things. So this is a three, three quarter. Let's try this one here. All right, so we're good there. So let's go ahead and put this particular piece on now. This one seems to have some kind of a rubber grommet on the inside. So I'm hoping that it will help combat the leakage. And I'm using this fast, uh, what is this called here? Fast tape. It was, uh, typically this plumbing tape is only like a dollar, but this particular one here, which is gray in color, was actually, I wanna say $4. So I'm hoping I get four times the effect. If this doesn't work out, then I'll end up having to probably you know, get another compressor in the future. So basically what I have here is this is a 3 8 to quarter inch um, connection here. And when I initially took this off, I actually was trying to repair this some days ago. And I took it all apart and I took out that uh, hex bushing and I misplaced it somewhere. I don't know where. And I tried to get the component from Harbor Freight, couldn't find it. And today I just got the idea that, oh, maybe Home Depot has it. So I went over there, got in the plumbing aisle, and I ended up finding the parts. So hopefully this all works out the way that I'm hoping. All right, that's nice and snug in there. Let's go ahead and plug this in and fire it up and see if it actually uh, holds the air. Fire it up. And make sure the actual drain is closed. Alright, so it appears that the compressor is full. I don't hear any leaking. The previous one would be hissing right now especially when I would be handling this portion here. So now we're gonna take the next, tap, uh, next test. My oil level's still good. And I'm going to plug in the hose that I have here. I have two hoses. This one is my lighter duty hose, so let's see how it works. Okay, still no leaking, a good sign. Looks like it works. No hissing, everything looks good. All right, so let me show you what's going on with this other one here. So I don't have anything plugged into it. So let's turn it on. So as you can see there, basically um, the compressor will fill up and then when it gets to capacity, it does not shut off. It just basically activates the release valve so it could be something wrong with whatever the sensor is or however it functions to turn off or it could be the release valve that's uh, faulty. I'm not quite sure which one it is, but I don't have a whole lot of hours or usage on this compressor. 
Um, I guess it's one of those things where you get what you pay for. I did buy this from Harbor Freight, attempting to save a little bit of money. Um, both of these actually, um, that was the goal. And it looks like one of them, at least out of the two, is going to be able to be utilized further. Whereas the other one, it seems like, you know, without further investigation, um, it may end up just going uh, to the dump. So that would be unfortunate if that's the case because, you know, you spend your money, you want to get the use of the, of the product. And, you know, I'm not doing any kind of jobs where basically this thing should have failed in such a short span of time, especially being that for the most part, it usually just sits, you know, it just sits there. It does not, um, it doesn't get utilized. I actually had uh, purchased this for my wife so she could use it um, rather than buying those uh, compressed air spray cans to like clean up your keyboard or, you know, dust things. I bought this for that um, reason um, because obviously I'm not going to take this big, you know, 21 gallon up throughout the house, but this one was small enough and compact enough to be able to be used in those little light duty applications. Um, at this moment, obviously, I'm feeling like the, those funds could have gone elsewhere. But anyways, um, at least I was able to fix one of the compressors. As you can see, it's still not leaking. It's nice and full. It's great for shop cleanup. Um, well, I was hoping to use it to block my cameras it gets on them from being in the shop and now I'm able to do it. So, I mean, basically you gotta take the win where you can get it. Um, I'm thankful, I'm grateful that uh, this one is what functioning, so we'll just move on from there. Alright guys, thanks for taking time to watch the video. I'll see you in the next one.